Hey, how you doing, everybody? Uh, today we're going to make a simple uh, shelving unit, okay? Uh, and uh, we're just going to make it a little bit fancy by being able to control the amount of shelves it has, okay? So it'll be a minimum of two shelves, uh, and we're going to add other shelves in an array, okay? All right, so we'll get straight to it. So file, new family, and we go to the metric uh, furniture, okay? And open. Okay, let's set up some uh, constraints. We want to have, we're going, let's say we'll place it by the back of the shelving unit, okay? Uh, so we have the uh, the outside for the width. We're going to place it at the center back. Uh, we bring a reference plane along the front, okay? So there's the footprint of our shelving unit. And uh, let's dimension those to the center and equals. And dimension that guy up there. That's a parameter. And this one's going to be a parameter too. So that's... Select the dimension, new parameter, we call it uh, width. Okay, I'll leave it as a type. We're going to do pretty much everything as type parameters today, okay? Uh, select this guy and we'll call it depth. Right. All right. All right, so let's put in some more reference planes for the the frame, okay? The outside phrase, the outside, the frame of the, the, the shelving system. Let's we'll change the scale there so you can see it easier. Okay. To mention these lads. Okay. Uh, let me change that back to one to ten. Okay. Select these three dimensions using your control key, and a new parameter. We call it frame thickness. Okay. Okay. Change the values later. Okay. Uh, let's go into a front elevation. We create a reference plane for the top. Okay. And then another one underneath it for the frame thickness. And then I'm going to create another one along the bottom here for the toe. We're going to put a little kind of toe, like a, like a, like in the kitchen where you'd have a kicker plate. Uh, so to mention that guy and that guy. So this one is the frame thickness. Okay, this guy we we'll call it tight. All right, and okay. I'll change that to 104. Sorry, 150. Okay, what we got? All right, reference level again. So I'm going to put a little setback in for the at the toe. I'm going to create another reference plane. Maybe I should start putting in geometry so you can follow this easier. Uh, I'll do that, okay? So, create extrusion and go to uh, use my pick line with lock selected. And I'm going to pick the outside. And I'm going to trim them to corners. And I'm going to pick these lads over here. Okay, it's got an error because it's overlapping, but it won't be for long. Trim, trim, trim. Okay, so that's the back and sides of our shelving unit. Okay. okay. While it's selected, I'm going to give it a parameter for the material. Okay, so materials. I uh, click on the assign parameter and new, and we say frame material. We'll use two materials, right? You'll probably use the same material in reality, but we'll have two parameters. Uh, one for the frame, one for the shelves, just in case you want to have them as two different colors or two different materials, okay? And all right. So back into our front elevation. Uh, I'm just going to pull my little pull handle back down onto the reference plane and lock. And do the same up here, up to the top, and lock, okay? Into 3D. You see, uh, get rid of those thick lines. All right, you're starting to see it form, okay? So in reference level, I'm going to, I'm going to put the top on as well, okay? So create extrusion. Uh, rectangle tool. I just go to the outside and align it. So align selected and lock selected. Align and lock. Align and lock. Bingy bing. Bingy bum. Okay. And green tick is yes. And I'll assign the parameter for material while well, it's still selected. Frame material. Go into my front elevation, still selected. I'll drag it up to the top reference plane and I'll lock. And drag that guy up to the next one down. 
lock. Okay. So into our 3D again. So we have a top, sides, and back, right? So we can just join them. Okay, join the top. There we go. Right? Start to see it take shape. So reference level. Okay, so the, I put that reference plane in there just before I started uh, making extrusions. So that's going to be for our uh, toe setback, okay? So the bit that's just maybe six inches or 150 mil off the floor, let's set back in, okay? Let's give that a, a value. So to mention that, I'm going to select it and call it new parameter uh, toe setback. Is that value to 50. All right. Uh, okay. So, I need another reference plane. Create tab, reference plane, just on the inside of that toe setback. I'm going to create a, another extrusion, re a rectangle. Click where the, the, the reference planes intersect, and it's finding them and to the other corner and lock 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 and lock and okay and again material frame material and if we go into my front elevation my toe okay so just lock it to the floor not the floor but the the, the bottom reference plane reference level sorry and to that guy and again i'll show you in 3d so there it is set back okay join it we don't really need it but we can Right. So what we're definitely missing now, and this is actually is the shelves. All right. So I'm going to create the shelf in another family and nest it in here. Okay. Uh, do we need to do anything else with that guy? That'll do for now. Okay. So file, new family. We'll do furniture family again. Metric furniture. Open. And. I'm going to click a reference plane below. So this is the back of the shelf that's going to be oriented onto this guy. Uh, create reference plane left and right. Dimension to the centers. And click on the equals. Explain that as equals each side of the reference plane. And dimension, full width, so it's the width. And that's the depth. Okay, escape. Select that guy. We'll call it your parameter shelf depth. Okay. And this one, shelf width. Okay. And we'll create. Oh, sorry, we're going to a front elevation. I'm just going to create a reference plane above and below the reference level. Dimension to the center and equals, and dimension, the height of it, select the dimension, new parameter, shelf, yes. Okay, make that 25, or it doesn't really matter. We can change it in the family anyway, and the one we're going to nest it into. Okay, reference level. Okay, let's create the extrusion. Uh, extrusion, rectangle, corner to corner. Lock, 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 tick. And um, we give that a material, new parameter, new parameter, uh, shelf material. And okay. All right. Uh, right. I'm going to get a sweet, uh, we bit fancy with this for a sec. Hang on. What have we got? The front is 25. Oh, yeah, we didn't lock that. Okay. So lock that to the reference planes. Lock and lock. Okay. Okay. So that's my my shelf. Okay. I just got to put a bit of a curve on the uh, on the edges of the shelf just to to make it a little bit more realistic, maybe. So I'm going to create a new uh, profile file, new family, and I created this profile already actually in the last video, I think, but uh, for the uh, the same type of profile in the one for the countertop, but I'm going to do it again anyway, just in case you didn't watch it. But of course you did. Okay, metric profile, right? Open. Okay, 
So x, y, just reference plane here, reference plane here, dimension top to bottom, right to left, escape, escape, select both of those guys, and create parameter, and call it uh, radius. Uh, create a line from here to here to here. Uh, make that thin line so you can see it, or thick lines. I'm going to align this, align to that. Uh, it would have been easier if I had of in my arc first, it doesn't matter. So line, arc, start, end, radius, start, end, radius. Click the temporary dimension there. I'm going to change the scale to one to two. So you can see it. Select that radius and assign parameter. Okay. That's it. Now I should save this, uh, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to load it in. Okay. So we're going to use this as a void at the edge of the, the shelf. Load into project and close. Uh, which one are we in? <laughs> Must be family eight. Okay. No. Now, I'm going to go down to my families down here and, and assign some parameters on that profile. Well, one parameter. Profile family nine. Double click into it. So there's our radius. It's going to assign a parameter so that we can we can uh, access it. New, uh, we say shelf edge radius. A. A. And I'll change that value in here. Oops, we're off screen. Uh, new shelf edge radius, where is it? There it is, 39.2, we'll just give it three, okay? Okay. Now create, void forms, void sweep, pick path. Pick the edge, tick. Modify sweep, uh, family nine. Now, you should be saving your profiles, guys. It's just I already have this saved a couple of times, actually. All right, so the profile is facing the wrong way. We want it to be cutting into the shelf. So just with the profile selected, just click flip. And OK. And cut. All right. See that's on the edge there. All right. <clears throat> I'll do it for the underside as well. Create, void forms, void sweep, uh, pick path. OK. Profile, family nine. Make sure it's facing the right way. It's not, so we'll flip that. Now it is, and cut. Okay, so that's our shelf. All right, you should save it. I'm not gonna. Uh, so you save it. Give it a name that makes sense, and save it in a place that makes sense. I'm gonna load it into my uh, shelf family. Save it now. And uh, place it here. Okay. Escape, escape. So align and lock, align to the center. Okay. Uh, I, need, I haven't got a parameter I can actually assign yet to the width of that shelf, so I have to get to that. Uh, let's do just let's just do that. Okay. So the width of our shelf is the entire width. Okay. So it's width. Take away frame thickness multiplied by two. Okay. Let's go and create a parameter. I call this shelf width. And we, our formula is, as I just said, uh, width minus, uh, what was it, frame thickness multiplied by two. You don't need brackets there. If you remember your bomb desk, uh, brackets, what was it? <laughs> Never mind, I can't remember. Brackets, orders, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So anyway, okay. So width minus frame thickness by two. Okay, that's the width of our shelf. So now I can select the shelf and edit type. I can assign that that width now. Okay, so assign parameter shelf width. Uh, where is it? Shelf width. There it is. Okay. All right. See, it's gone to the right size. So if I go to my front, there it is. There shelf. Use my arrow key up there. Align. Uh, to, ooh, what way am I going to go about this? 
Okay, before I align that vertically, let's just could put in a couple of reference planes. Uh, just the sh short ones here. Okay, I'm going to equals them. There's a reason for this, but it'll become evident, I think. Just change the scale there so you can see what I'm doing. Rules. Now we need a shelf thickness, okay? So, escape, escape, select that parameter, new parameter, shelf thickness. Say it's 25, okay? Shelf, edit type, shelf thickness, assign parameter, shelf thickness, okay? Uh, since we're in here anyway, actually, uh, let's do the material, right? So, assign parameter, new parameter, shelf material. Okay. You need to link the, the parameters for the materials, otherwise you, you they won't change in the project. Okay. We might as well put, in that, uh, put that shelf edge radius in as well. You probably don't need it as a parameter, but let's just do it. Shelf edge radius. Okay. So the, the last one we need then is the shelf depth. So it's, uh, we have to figure that out. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm going to align and lock to this guy up here. I'm going to go to my left view. Did we already align that? We didn't. Okay. So align to the frame of the shelf system there and lock it in. Okay. So in 3D, here's what we got. Okay. Uh, I want, for my own reasons, I want to have the shelf set back in slightly off the edge of this uh, of the frame, just to allow for a little doors to go in there or something, the space, or at least have the option to do it, okay? So uh, I'm going to create a parameter called shelf setback, okay? okay. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to actually need to dimension this anywhere. So let's say uh, 15, okay? So we need our shelf depth. Show <laughs> new parameter shelf depth. Okay. So our shelf depth shelf depth then is going to be the depth of the unit, right? So which is what depth, okay? Minus our uh, shelf setback, okay? That'll be the, the shelf depth. So shelf depth is equal to depth minus Shelf setback. Okay. Uh, we could just change the depth there to a reasonable number, 450. Okay. All right, so that's already gone back. If you select the shelf, edit type, and our shelf depth, we'll select it. You can see that happening actually. If I just move that. Uh, shelf depth, assign the parameter. Okay, and okay. Hmm. Ah, we got the calculation wrong. Okay, so back into our types, we forgot to take away the depth of the, the frame. Okay, so depth minus frame depth, and frame thickness actually, and a shelf depth. Okay, there we are. So that's where I wanted it. Okay. So we have the option to put that, set that shelf set back to zero and it'll come out flush. Okay. I'll just prove that point. Uh, shelf setback zero. Okay. There it is. Okay. I'll do. Now, so we have, we have the beginnings of our shelf system. We have our bottom shelf in, we have the frame uh, back front size on top. Uh, we just need to add an option for an extra uh, or additional shelves. Okay, so back into our front elevation. I'm going to create uh, three reference planes. Okay, this is going to be for our top shelf. Oops. So I'll dimension them and equal them through the center. And pick the outsides. Escape, select that guy and assign a shelf thickness. Okay, now select the shelf. I'm going to array it up to here. Okay, now I'm going to use my uh, with my array tool. I'm going to uh, I'm going to array to last place. Okay, not not second. Array 
to last, okay? So I'll take it from the center, maybe, to the center. All right. It didn't really matter, it could be the top or the bottom. Anyway, so I'm gonna align to the top there, lock, okay? If I select that shelf, you'll see I'll be, I can, I can, it'll, it can be pushed out so that when you make this in the project, that can happen. So make sure you check that it, the first and last one have to be aligned everywhere, okay, and locked. So align to the reference plane, lock. And if I go to my left view, I'll do the same thing because it won't be locked even though the bottom one is, right? See, it's, it can align off of that path. Uh, array, I should say, not line. There you go, locked, okay? So that's it. Uh, we've got the front one. Uh, right, let's, we're gonna need a parameter to control the shelf space, okay? What's the space between them, okay? And to mention that, and then we'll, we'll add the parameter. Okay, so shelf space, view parameter, shelf space. Want these to be the same, okay? Uh, for it for this scenario, there's other scenarios, obviously for for shelves you don't, but for this one we do. So shelf show shelf space. Okay, so what is it? It's the height. Did we give a height parameter? I hope so. We didn't. Let's do that first. Okay, so dimension. The top. I like that we call that guy height. Okay, there it is. Right, so our gap between shelves is going to be height minus toe height minus uh, shelf times two uh, minus frame, okay, uh, divided by two. So types, new parameter, oh no, it's not new parameter, we already created the parameter, where is it? Shelf space is equal to the height minus the toe height minus, uh, what was it, two times shelf depth, uh, minus frame. Shelf depth or shelf, should be shelf thickness, shouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, do you follow that? So it's the overall height minus the toe height, uh, which is 150, minus two times the, and times is the star, Two times shelf thickness, all right, uh, minus frame thickness. Okay, okay. Ah, divided by two. Forgot something. See that it brought a zero uh, space there. So it's all of that divided by two. So shelf space. Put that all in brackets. Uh, divided by. Actually, do you know what? We need one more parameter. So we need to divide it by the number of shelves we want, okay? So divide it by, so new parameter, number of shelves. We're gonna change that from length to integer because it needs to be an even number, okay? Okay, so back in here, close that in, in, in the shelf space in brackets and divide it by uh, the what the parameter we just created, which was where is it? There, number of shelves. Okay, I'm just going to copy that out there. I have to, can't have that as uh, zero. Just put it as two. So shelf. What was it again? Shelf space. Space. Okay. So it's even now, right? So we do that in 3D maybe. You have two shelves, okay? So what we've just done is we've assigned, uh, we haven't assigned it actually. So if we if we select the, the, the shelf, you'll see there's a, an array here, okay? And before I assign that, I'm gonna show you if we put in three shelves, what'll, what'll happen, okay? So add for the number of shelves, three, okay? So we've got the space as if we've, uh, at the top, like we have three shelves, we've only got two, there's a shelf missing, okay? And the reason is the array needs to have a, that parameter assigned to it, okay? So array, click the line there, 
and then under label or beside label the number of shelves that parameter we just created the integer assign that all right and if we want to we can put in any number so four for instance <laughs> five six anyway right so that's it you load that into your project and i'm not going to save it you should obviously save that uh i'll show you now on there okay so here it is in our project simple shape of a shelf family but uh, with a bit of a control on it i hope you found that useful i think if you i think the the, the methods we use in this uh are, are useful and they'll inform how you make other things okay uh if you like anything more specific than that maybe made if i get time to do it i'll do it if you ask uh that's it guys listen i hope that was useful and uh, if you like it please let me know and i appreciate the comments and subscribers appreciate you and uh, have a good day all right